welcome back in Portugal in the Nelchis Sardis workshop. Uh, today we're gonna make a door <laughs> uh, and it's gonna be like a bit of a replica of an old Portuguese door. So it's just a few uh, floorboards, tongue and roof, of which I had to cut off, of course, uh, both sides of the, of the door. And to my luck, that's exactly the size I need to have when I take five boards. So it's uh, 69 centimeters wide, it's a small door, 193 centimeters high. And um, we're gonna put this door together with uh, sliding dovetails, but uh, tapered dovetails. So let's see if we can make a copy of an old Portuguese door. So I'm taking my router bit that I'm going to use later to out the dovetails in the door uh, to get the degrees on my table saw to make the other parts. So, of course I'm gonna have to put it down a bit to see. And I forgot something which are my glasses, because otherwise I don't see anything. And I think... Uh, there's some light coming through. I think I do have... the angle now, here, so I'll secure it. <laughs> That's my way of making a tapered. Oh, it's already <laughs> stuck. Taper sliding dovetail. Really works well. I 
had a original door and it just had a straight board like that but once you're doing the dovetails anyway why not make this one the same way so fits rather well to fit in with all the other doors that are there. It's going to be painted anyway and uh, yeah I think it will fit in nicely. So these are the hinges that are going to come on but I'm going to do that on site because well I think that's a better way to see at which height they need to be and what kind of screws I'm going to use because I still think this should be some kind of uh, old-fashioned nails or, well, at least not, you know, the Phillips screws we have nowadays that wouldn't fit, so. So, there are a few things to, uh, to know when you're making it like this. Now, I did it exactly according to the, the, the old Portuguese door that was there. So, let's see if I can show you. First of all, the, the um, dowels that are in the top and the bottom are there to make sure the door doesn't expand. On the other side, of course, the door can't expand because this sliding dovetail goes this way, that was that way, but this goes the other way. So it presses the whole thing together. It won't go anywhere. Um, so this whole door is made out of one, two, three, four, five and then well six floorboards and um, it doesn't have a screw or nail or anything in it just glue and these tapered dovetails. So another thing to be taken care of is 
that it shouldn't be over sanded, over, you know, too nice because it wouldn't fit in the old house where it's gonna be. And of course, this is a small door. Um, a small door for the simple reason that in those days doors weren't that big. So it's only 69 centimeters because the gap is 70. Well, I made it. 69.3 it needs to have some clearance and uh, I think it looks rather nice so yeah another project done so I would say do some woodworking it's a very nice way to spend your time do some recycling it's an even better way to spend your time and I'll see you in the next video at the logo. Ah, I can hide behind this door. Am I that? Yeah. Oh, I think I did a, a nice job on this one. Looks good. Well, put it out of the way.